Immortals! I'm Jensen and welcome back to Remnant 2's Dark Horizon DLC. I'm playing this blind and I'm loving it. Also, in the last episode, we found this guy who has all of the answers to every question that we could possibly want answered. And we've already spoken to him. Uh, we need to get him a memory core. I don't know where the hell we're going to find one of those. But we already found two of his bits. And I'm pretty sure that that's going to unlock the Warden Archetype, which I've... Got absolutely no idea about because I didn't read any of the patch notes before this DLC came out. I didn't read. In fact, I didn't even know this DLC was coming out. Uh, the game just kind of ambushed me with this. Um, now that we're here, actually, we probably want to go ahead and take a look around the map because there is probably one place that we are missing that is just pure progress, right? We could go back into the stagnant manufactory. Is there anywhere else we can go? No, we have to go here. Let's, let's do that. So we'll go to Spark. Okay. Where is this thing? So if we go this way, we got to go over here. I've, is there actually anywhere that we can go? Yes, there is actually. There is a downstairs. Okay, let's check out this this alleged downstairs before we kind of like commit to wherever the hell we were going initially. And we'll see whether or not there's actually something up here for us. Okay, so the giant rock cock up here should be, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. It should be the transit back to the beginning of the area, right? Just in here? Maybe? What is through here? Is this where we started? I'm pretty sure this is where we started, right? No. Yes. Yes, it is, actually. That is definitely where we started. What have we learned? We've learned that this area is where we've started, and where we need to go is literally right beneath it. Seems like the stagnant manufactory actually left us with more questions than answers. Okay, I'm going in here. We're going to see if there's another exit or something like that. Because I didn't... I'm not going to lie. I didn't look particularly thoroughly when we first came in here. And I couldn't help but notice that there was a section of gas blocking a tiny little area. I didn't necessarily think that the game would be so petty as to say, Hey, you need to go through there though. Maybe it actually is petty enough. Where is it? So it is kind of like over here, I think. doesn't really look like there's anything through there, to be quite honest. I mean, we'll go through there anyway, but I don't know why this is the objective. It's not like anywhere that we can actually check what we are supposed to be doing here, right? Uh, the black hole that has caused enough problems, it's time to confront Ellipsis Tora. Right. I think that's the name of that uh, guy who basically um, read thesauruses as a hobby. What an asshole. What an actual asshole. So there's a guy in here. Where are the enemies? Have we seriously not interacted with a single bonfire since we... It was an hour ago! Or maybe we haven't. We've probably actually found enough ammo to sustain ourselves. And if we hadn't, we probably used a cube gun. I'm not entirely sure where we are supposed to be going through here, but it seems like there are ways. Well, sucks to be that guy. Imagine. Imagine you are just minding your business, and then some dickhead comes in from nowhere, shoots you in the bag. I don't want to be hit by that. Okay. Oh, I love the skill so much. Well, that guy wasn't even remotely close either. Good. Okay. So through here, there's a couple more of these rude dudes. That guy got blasted with sand. Excellent. And we'll use our pressure washer on him. There's a special in here. Oh, that's not a special. That is a crab. Where is the special? Oh, that's probably it. Damn, that was really close. I'm going to go ahead and use my life leech skills to regenerate my health. Perfect. And done. Okay, let's touch this. It actually doesn't look like there's any fog in there at this point. Oh, we just... Oh, that is a uh, boss right there. That is actually a boss. How do we get in there? How do we get in there? Is it just around here? I will go literally just around here to fight that boss. Ah, yes! It is exactly what I thought it was. Okay, this guy's unstoppable and he's also a hexer, whatever the hell that means. Maybe that means we can't stun? Damn, this guy's actually a, a bit of a dick, isn't he? Uh, I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to see if I can't charge him from outside. Okay, let's charge that there. Good. And I'm just going to start firing these into him because he's going to use his caustic blaster. Whoa! Hey! Oh my god! Doggo, get me up! Okay, we sandblasted him, which means it's going to take consistent damage over time for a good 15 seconds or so. Let's go ahead and keep range from him. He's actually a bit of a pain in the ass, to be quite honest. Uh, that's the caustic blast. We don't want to be hit by that. We want him to use his mortars out here, basically. Okay, bad, bad, all kinds of bad. Using a dragon heart. Done. Uh, great, he's using his, his stupid mortar strike. 
Good, and we can reload there because we're happy to do so. And we got him! Damn! Damn! He was actually stressful! You know what? Let's give Doggo a pet before we pick up all that loot. Uh, we got a new mutator for that. So I'm pretty sure it's going to maybe add fire damage or increase fire damage. Good Doggo. Uh, can we put it on this gun? Harmonizer is actually pretty damn crazy, to be quite honest. All right, what do we get? Superheated. When this weapon is above 25% heat, a 7.5 meter pulse deals 150 explosive damage once every five seconds. I know exactly what we should put this on. We should be putting that on the... Cube gun, right? Instead of far side, we'll actually use the superheater. Yeah, this. Good, because the cube gun actually overheats really fast. That's its only downside. And we've just turned that into a strength, which is awesome. So we've got a build. We've got a little bit of a build. It's pretty awesome. I love that. Actually love that. Okay, now it's telling us to go up back to the... For fuck's sake. This fucking game. Oh my god. Okay, we're back in here. Believe it or not, we just left through the gate it told us to go through. And now it's telling us to go through this gate right here, which is actually a little bit poppycock. I feel like maybe some of the map finding in this game is not amazing. Whoops. Should have dodged that. Gross. Uh, let's pop up here. Oop. Dodge it when it's red. Excellent. And then just blast him with the sand. Nice. There should be another couple of enemies down here. He kind of looks like a mind flayer. Kind of strange, actually. I think there may be somewhere down there that we could go to, but I'm not entirely sure how reliable that's really going to be. I'll try anyway. We'll try go to this here launch. And then we'll see whether or not we can actually fly through this area. Because I do see a little platform right there. Oh, there is something down here. Have we been down here though? I don't think we have, you know. I don't have to, I don't think we've been down here. It is very tight though. The actual kind of like constraints for getting down into this area, very tight. Oh my god, seriously? Another one? Okay, and dodge through that, of course. Whoop. So, we've actually already fought one of these bosses before. Let's fire out a sandstorm. Do -do -do -do. Uh, let's go ahead and blast that out so we don't take that damage. Oh my god, that went so well for us. Okay, good. Again for us. So, good. We started burning. Oh, we can't swap our weapon while it's overheated. That sucks. Maybe that was why we stopped using it in the first place, right? Okay, good. We didn't want to be hit by that. Probably going to do a jump now. Whoa, okay. What the hell? Oh, he just launched thunder down on me. Seriously? Let's do a dragon heart. Seriously? Oh, we were so close to actually healing as well. What a penis. What an actual penis. Okay, and jump away from that as well. And instead of his thunder... Actually, no. We are going to dodge all of his thunder if we can. Nice. We got him. We also got the detonator mutator. Wow, we're getting so many items in this session. Didn't it? Each 10% of this weapon's magazine spent causes an explosion. Five explosive damage for targets within five meters of the impact location. Not bad, actually. Can we put that on the cube gun? Let's see. A detonator right here. Does it work? Detonate. It does, actually. Oh, my God. Okay, that might be a little bit, a little bit powerful. Because it has a tiny magazine, and the whole point of the cube gun is for the magazine to basically essentially be empty at all times. So, if we can maximize that into damage, that's perfect. Oh, there's actually another path through here. Oh, I wonder what this is. That looks like a scythe. Oh my god! Oh, piss! Hey, guys! Okay, we have accidentally uh, maybe created a bit of a whoopsie. Don't know if he's attacking. A little bit. Oh, the explosive damage is actually pretty potent, gotta be said. So now, even if we're missing, it's not that bad. We don't want it to overheat, though. Uh, let's go ahead and use a sandblaster until we get our nice little doop -doop 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 sandstorm. And we have annihilated it. And we got an awesome scythe out of it. Cool. Okay, screw you, Dreamcatcher. Let's use this Harvester Scythe. Benta Blade. Okay, let's see what this bad boy does. Whoa, it attacks fast. Oh my god, it's special is also awesome. What the hell just hit me? This thing. I wonder. I wonder. Okay, we definitely whiffed that one right there. Let's go ahead and just fire a shot out there, see what happens. Nothing happened. Okay, he's firing at Doggo, which is not amazing. Could you not? <laughs> Could you come here and fight us like a man? 
Not a child. Wow. Well, I suppose that would be subjective, right? Okay, let's try this guy out with the scythe. Oh my god, it is potent. Wowie! Holy hell. This ain't looking good. That's fine. Oh, piss. <laughs> we got ganged up on. So, 1v1, the scythe seems wins almost every single time, right? But it also seems like the scythe is not amazing with anything that's not. That is a cool heavy attack, by the way. It kind of like sets a, a perpetually attacking thing in the middle. Could you not? Okay, good. The flying ones have to go. They are a pain in the asshole. I'm actually feeling a little bit of pain in my asshole by even having to look at those things. All right, fight me out here. Meet me on the beaches. Good, done. Is this one of the areas we can hold out in? Also, I see a room to our immediate left. I'm just going to make sure that it's not. I don't like hear anything fancy about this prop, so probably not. Uh, that is where we came from. Good to know. Where do we come out of? Can we see anything out here? Not really. Oh, nice. We are right next to the stagnant manufactory. Great. I don't know what the hell that's going to mean for us, but there is another item just over here, which I adore. Another ghost means another item. So this is either a memory core or it is a hand of some sort, right? Okay, we're being attacked by machinery. That sucks. Let's go ahead and just kill. Hey, buddy. Okay, that hurts. Let's get away from that. And not doing a hell of a lot of damage. Let's try the old cube gun, I think. It is potent, actually. That is a potent weapon. Now that it's got the explosives. Oh, 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 I love it. Love it. It's only level three as well, which is pretty crazy. So we've already been in here. Uh, that guy respawned, it seems. Okay, so we have actually been here before. So again, we're kind of like up a creek without a pedal, not really knowing where to go next on account of the vertical platforming. Which I got to point out is probably one of the two things in gaming that has always just pissed me off every single time. Like, it's it's one thing to have, like, a sequence where you just, like, fly through gaps, like on Jack and Daxter or, um... You know, the Precursor Legacy had a bunch of minigames like that. Or maybe, like, uh, Jack 2, where you, like, fly through canyons and stuff like that. But when you get into it being a core gameplay mechanic, that's just where I feel the entire thing just becomes lazy, like, enforced, so to speak. Uh, looks like Spark is up here this time. What's he down here last time? Weird. What's he doing up there? Let's go ask him. Whee! Yeah, do we go? Okay, I'm gonna go to this one, because I think this one might shoot us up into the sky. Uh, we can't jump, unfortunately. Whee! Let's go see what's good with Spark. Hello? Oh, piss. It's that area of zombies that we keep getting ourselves caught in. Hey, buddy. I'm going to take that guy out. Whoa! Got a new skill. Death Wish. So the Ritualist, we've leveled it up to maximum. Don't know if I'm landing the shots here. Probably, since it's close quarters, want to get the cube gun out, right? Yeah, I think so. Spark! What are you doing over here, buddy? What's good? Dying light. You okay? I must keep roving. I'll be elsewhere when you return. Okay. The comets dash the firmament. Is he trying to, like, hint at where a bunch of places that we can go are? Because I actually see down south there is an elevator. Not really too interested. Let's go back to Ward 13, and then we will upgrade our cube gun. I think that's going to be a really good idea now that we've actually got explosives for the cube gun. Oh my god, I literally cannot believe that the cube gun is actually coming together. I didn't plan on, like, equipping it and then it becoming a main. I just wanted to try it out. Because I wanted to love it so bad. I also really like the site too. But I'm not going to upgrade it because I'm pretty sure it scales to all of the places that we uh, kind of like create. Oh, we need more Lumini crystals. Okay, at least we got one point into the cube gun, which is pretty awesome. We just need billions of... Wait, we can buy Luminite. We can buy Luminite. So, he should sell Lumini crystals. Whoa, okay. Whoa! Hey, do we actually just want to, like, make a billion of these? Because we've got all of the dust required. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm literally going to... I'm going to craft everything. I'm going to put my auto clicker on. Where the hell is my mouse gone? Oh, no. Greetings. Did I break the game? Oh, no. I've got it. <laughs> I did it so fast that my mouse literally disappeared. Is there anything else that we can make out of the relic dust? Not real... Oh, we can actually make a couple of these here mutators. 
So this one increases melee damage by 20% for 10 seconds when activating a skill. Meh. Continuously aiming increases range damage by up to 10% over 3 seconds. Wow, that's actually not bad. We'll take that one. Gain 10% melee damage. Yuck. Melee attack. Yuck. Uh, actually, melee attack grants a shield for 3% of your max health for 5 seconds. Wow, that's not bad actually. We could probably put that on the scythe. Let's do that. We'll put the shielded strike on the scythe. Reloading increases the damage of this weapon's next shot by 10%. I'm going to buy that because I know what to put it on. Basic melee attacks increase the damage of the next charge attack by 7%. That's meh. Increases negative critical chance of this weapon by 1% per unique status effect against the enemy. That would be like 3% at most for us. Increases melee damage per stack of corroded on target. Yuck. Skill activation grants mage strike for 10 seconds. Increases melee mod generation. Yuck. Mod damage and mod generation by 10% when activating the skill. It's not, oh, the skill though. Increases attached weapons range damage by 15% after being stoved for 2 seconds. Meh. Meh. Wow, look at these, Corrupted Arbalist. Oh, I see, because we've got the weapons, Corrupted Sorrow. Right. No way. Oh, Corrupted Cube Gun. No shot. So we need Corrupted Shards. You're going to be hard to find, I think. Volatile Strike. Dealing melee damage creates three meter blast, which deals 50 explosive damage. Oh my god. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. Uh, we've also got the Corrupted Deceit here. Deceit was okay. I didn't really love it. We can upgrade all of these things. We can downgrade all of these things. Okay, we're actually going to take one of these items and immediately stick it on our scythe right here. And I think it was Shielded Strike. Where is it? Volatile Strike. Maybe this one. Okay, we'll put Volatile Strike on it. I can't remember who sells crystals. In any way, shape, or form. Might be Reggie. Might be Mudtooth. Probably not Cassandra over there. Nah, probably not Cassandra. If you don't mind. Oh, this is the uh, egg, I think. What do you need? Well, I was just here stirring my pot as usual, and you came to mind. I'm thinking you must be taking a lot of hits out there. So I figured I'd cook up something special for you. Maybe give you a little boost to handle those tough moments. I'm literally, literally immortal. And I think you'll appreciate this. I have almost everything I need, but I'm missing something to really make it stick to your ribs. Any suggestions? Heroin! Will this work? Wow, you had that ready to go. Didn't see that coming. Just give me a little time, okay? Yeah, so this guy is actually... He's willing to make us a thing. I tried to do that back when just we were, like, collecting things for our neutral playthrough. I tried to get him to spawn for a half an hour, and he just Don't wouldn't. You need, yes! I need to see your wares. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if he doesn't sell shards, I'm going to throw a fit. Nope, so none of that's useful. Hey, Reg, there, what's good? Hey. You got anything for sale? Uh, he does not have any shards for sale. What a penis. What an actual penis. Oh, actually... This would have been really handy just to have. Increased shock damage by 15%. So when we were using the, the Tesla gun, we should have actually been using that one. I'm pretty sure we can buy shards somewhere. I'm just not entirely sure where that was. Maybe we can't. Maybe, maybe we can't buy shards. Actually, before we leave here, let's go ahead and convert all of the shards into red shards as well and add those to our repertoire of death shards. Hey, buddy, what's good? Greetings. Yes, I've come for more gems. Good, so, what is this? Prism of Lethargy. I have no idea what that is. A prism stone? Is that for the fragments? Oh, it is! Oh! Cool! So what does this do? Prism has empty slots. Does it just increase the amount of these I can activate? No. What do I do with this? Prism of Veracity. Ah, okay. We'll collect those shards then. We'll collect those shards... And we'll turn them into that other prism that we didn't have. We want to go, apparently, to this propagation field checkpoint, right? Maybe? I don't actually know if that is the one place that we want to go. I, th I think we want to go literally anywhere else. But this might be the closest place to another area. So we'll take a look around. We've got lots of them coming after us. There we go. I fired that into that dickhead who got way too close to us. Stop. Stop it. Ow. Okay, guns over here. can't even use our melee weapon, apparently. Apparently, we're too suppressed to do anything. Use our Reaper's Scythe right here. Whoa! That explosive actually does a lot of damage. I love this thing. I love this thing. I actually love this Scythe. Yeah, we've definitely been in there. But it never hurts to do a little bit of combat now that we have some uh, classes that we haven't maxed out already. Excellent. Uh, I'm actually going to fire the special right there. Good. And I am going to wail away on that guy so that I don't get killed by everything else around me. All right, good. And hey, buddy. 
Uh, do you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Reaper? Boom! Suck my side! Excellent. I love that so much. Uh, got some... Got some ammo around here. Probably want to go ahead and reload this gun. It's only got two rounds left in it. And that's not a lot of sand. Got to be said. It's actually a, a very, very small amount of... Oh, no. Have I found a bug? Uh... Oh no. Please? Okay. No. No! Not like this! Uh, yep, we're stuck. We are completely stuck. God, every time I play a game, I break it! Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist that Dark Horizon goes into, and right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really, really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord, as well as a link to my live VODs channel, where you can reach out to my community, or me, whenever you damn well please. That's how Discord and live streams work, obviously. Of course, until I make the next video, or you catch the next live stream, hint, hint, I will be seeing you later. Thank you so much for watching, and at least for me, it's lights out.